one freezing morning in 1855, a small village in Devon, England, woke up to a chilling mystery. As the sun rose, the villagers found strange, eerie footprints winding through the snow, crossing rivers, and even climbing walls. Soon, whispers of dark forces began to spread quickly, filling everyone with a mix of fear and curiosity. The people, gripped with terror, felt drawn to the mysterious trail, totally confused and unsure of what dark secrets they might uncover. Now what will they find at the end of this mysterious path? Let's find out together in today's story called The Devil's Footprints. It was a cold February morning in good old Devon, England, way back in the year 1855, as the pale winter sun finally peeked over the horizon. The unsuspecting townsfolk rubbed their sleepy eyes and stumble outside, ready for facing another ordinary day. But instead of the usual peaceful scene, something straight out of a nightmare greets them. Overnight, a strange meandering trail of hoof-like footprints had somehow magically appeared, sneaking their way across the crisp, snow-blanketed countryside. One by one, the people began noticing bizarre tracks etched into the fresh snow canvas. The footprints measured four inches long and were two and a half inches wide. It was as if some two-legged creature had delicately tiptoed through it, but these markings didn't fit the bill and so didn't match any animal's print known to mankind. These bizarre tracks stretched on for miles, slithering their way through several towns and villages. Topsham, Exmouth, Teenmouth, Dawlish, you name it. Now, take this with a grain of salt, but the trail was said to cover over more than 100 miles. And to make things even more crazy, the footprints appeared on every possible surface you can think of. Snow-covered fields, gardens, roads, and even on the creviced rooftops of homes. Incredibly, there were even some reports that claimed they crossed huge rivers and towering walls, defying all common sense and logic. Now, the night before had been brutal, with heavy snowfall and freezing temperatures. So the harsh weather didn't just keep the strange footprints intact. It made the whole scene even creepier than it already was. The fresh, untouched snow was like a perfect canvas showing the weird tracks in sharp, clear detail. Anyone who saw them couldn't help but feel a chill run down their spine. As rumors began to spread, fear quickly took over these once peaceful villages. Terrified people locked themselves inside their houses, nervously peeking through their curtains, too scared to go outside. Others rushed to churches, praying desperately for protection from whatever God-forsaken creature had haunted their once peaceful, quiet hometown. Local newspapers jumped on the story, publishing crazy stories that fed the public's curiosity even more. What had started as a local rumor quickly turned into a national sensation, with major newspapers picking up the story and spreading the fear and speculation even further. The bizarre footprints had captured everyone's imagination, turning a small town mystery into a nationwide frenzy. Inevitably, the mysterious footprints unleashed a wave of supernatural and paranormal theories from the darkest pits of our imagination regarding their origins. But there was one that really stood out, making the rounds. Of course, it was none other than the devil himself, the terror of the underworld, who had taken a casual stroll through the lush Devon countryside. This idea quickly took hold on the frightened communities, their minds already soaked in the occult folklore and paranormal beliefs that were so widespread in the mid-19th century. 
while the devil himself topped the list. Other equally creepy and unsettling theories started to emerge from the shadows. Some folks even started whispering about witches or other supernatural beings using shape-shifting and all kinds of dark magic. Their imaginations ran completely wild with talk of vengeful dark woodland spirits, adding yet another layer of fear to the already creepy mystery. While paranormal ideas had everyone buzzing, a few brave souls tried to come up with more down-to-earth explanations for the weird hoofprints. One popular theory was that the single-file trail was made by hopping animals like rabbits, hares, or even birds, leaving prints as they bounced along. But then again, even the biggest supporters of this idea had a hard time believing that so many animals could keep such a straight, coordinated path for so long. Another, more cynical view dismissed the whole thing as an overblown hoax or an exaggerated story. The kind of sensational tale the British press loved to spin into legend. According to this theory, some pranksters made the initial tracks as a joke and watched in amusement as the God-fearing locals panicked. They continued adding to the trail, stoking the hysteria with each new devilish print. Now, amidst widespread belief in the unexplainable, a few scientific voices emerged with a more grounded explanation. They argued that the bizarre markings were merely a byproduct of the extraordinary atmospheric conditions that night. Perhaps Mother Nature was the real artist that night. The crazy snowfall and temperature roller coaster sculpted the snow into those spooky footprint shapes, like a magic trick for anyone who didn't know the science behind it. Sure, it sounded reasonable, but those tracks were still weirdly perfect, covered a crazy distance. And no wonder it freaked everyone out. While the Devon case might be the most famous, it's definitely not the only one. Over the years, other bizarre tracks have shown up in different places across the entire world, leaving their mark on history and making people wonder if there's something more going on beneath the surface. Now fast forward a few decades later, and it's the year 1909. We find ourselves in Woodbury, New Jersey. Winter had just painted the town a peaceful white a fresh canvas of serenity. Or so they thought, until the locals woke up to a very bizarre sight that sent shivers down their spines. A series of strange tracks snaking through the pristine snow. But these weren't your average footprints, mind you. No, these were whoppers, like a giant kangaroo had hopped through town on a sugar rush. Logic took a back seat. How on earth could a kangaroo possibly be jumping across rooftops, fences, and even frozen ponds? It defied everything they knew, and now the memory of those devilish hoof prints from years ago resurfaced, adding a layer of spookiness to the whole scene. Whispers filled the air, and theories flew like snowflakes on a windy day. Was it a rogue oversized kangaroo with a penchant for acrobatics, or was it something far darker? Days turned into weeks, but no explanation came forth. And so, the strange tracks remained. A reminder of the night the impossible left its mark on the town. It was a mystery that lingered. A campfire story whispered long after the snow had melted leaving a cold chill in the hearts of the townsfolk. Then came 1975, when on the other side of the world, in the sun-scorched heart of the Australian outback, a different kind of footprint frenzy erupted. Here, amidst the endless red dunes, a smattering of tiny three-toed prints appeared in the dusty earth. But once again, these weren't your average animal tracks. 
these were the size of teacups. It was just enough of a mystery to spark a wildfire of speculation. And so, were these the playful stomps of mischievous gnomes? Perhaps some other mythical creature, straight out of folklore? Officials scrambled to calm everyone down. But the theories spread like wildfire. Every news report just made things worse, with rumors about mythical creatures and unexplained phenomena. And despite a swarm of investigations, the authorities came up empty-handed. They just couldn't explain the mysterious prints, only deepening the mystery that hung over the outback. It was a down-to-earth reminder that the vast desert held secrets yet to be uncovered. But now more recently, in the isolated farming villages of the Bangladeshi countryside, a new chapter of bizarre footprint lore has emerged. It was a beautiful, perfect morning way back in 2013, Bangladesh. The kind where the sun paints the rice paddies gold and the air hangs heavy with the sweet scent of jasmine. The farmers in the sleepy villages yawned and stretched, making themselves ready for another day of working on their fields. But as soon as they stepped outside, a creepy and bizarre sight met their eyes. Something that sent a jolt straight through their warm morning coffee. Their fields, usually teeming with life, was now completely scattered with a strange, bizarre trail. But this wasn't just any trail. It was an endless line of bizarre footprints, snaking through the tall crops. Like an invisible trespasser who had waltzed through the night, leaving a creepy, unsettling message behind into the fresh soil, stretching for miles. Something way beyond of what any normal person could manage, without setting off every dog and rooster in the district. Panic flooded the villages, and whispers of the paranormal swirled faster than you could say, boo. Some people swore these prints belonged to ancient jinn, mischievous dark spirits who are known for their love of tricks. Others suggested it was some kind of vengeful forest creature. And so, just like all the other bizarre cases, the 2013 Bangladesh tracks became a tangled web of mystery and more unexplained questions. Now, fast forward a couple of hundred years. Remember those devilish footprints that freaked out the English countryside back in 1855? Well, they're still getting people talking today. Even with all the modern fancy new technology and brainiac scientists on the case, there's still no one who has managed to crack the code. And so, deep down, they remind us of our endless fascination with the unknown. The stuff that lurks just beyond the edge of our understanding, blurring the lines between what's real and what might be hiding in the shadows, making us question everything we thought we knew. The truth might forever remain a locked room, but their impact is undeniable. These spooky trails left a permanent mark on history, a bizarre story that'll keep sending shivers down spines for generations to come. And who knows, maybe someday the truth will come out, but for now, these stand as a reminder that some mysteries are best left unsolved. A testament to the strange magic that still threads its way through our world, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to look. And that's a wrap on today's journey. What do you think it was? I would love to hear your thoughts about it. If you enjoyed the story, Check out the channel for more interesting and intriguing videos. Subscribe, like, and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.